In the last video, we solved this fun question using geometry only. If you didn't watch that already, I'll put a link in the description. In one of the comments of that video, a nice trigonometric solution was suggested. I admit that a trigonometric solution to this question may not be the most efficient one. But I liked it, so here we are. First of all, we can find angle BDA as 110 degrees easily. Next, we can also express angle BAC as 140 minus alpha degrees. Now let's assume the length of the line segment AD as one unit for simplicity and use sine theorem on triangle ABD. From here we will have AB over sine 110 will be equal to 1 over sine 40. And rearranging the terms, AB will be equal to sine 110 over sine 40. Now let's apply sine theorem on triangle ABC. And from this triangle we will have BC over sine 140 minus alpha equals AB over sine alpha. Rearranging the terms for BC, we will have this relationship. And let's put the value of AB from first equation in this equation. And so we will have a relationship for BC. Now we have two equations for AB and BC. And we know that BC equals AB plus AD. If you put the values in, we will have an equation like this. Right side of the equation can be written as follows. And from here, both sine 40 terms will cancel out. Multiplying both sides of the equation with sine A will give us this equation. Now let's subtract sine A times sine 110 term from both sides. And using sine 110 term as common multiplier, we will end up with this equation. Now remember that sine A plus minus B is equal to sine A times cosine B plus minus sine B times cosine A. And we can use this identity in our equation for the green shaded term. So we will have this lengthy equation. Now remember that sine 180 minus a is sine a and cosine 180 minus a is minus cosine a. So let's use these identities for the green shaded terms. Now our equation will be in this form. And now we can again use the first identity to simplify the shaded term. So we will have this equation. Also remember that sine a minus sine b equals 2 times cosine a plus b over 2 times sine a minus b over 2. If we apply this to green shaded term, we will have this equation. Another identity we should remember is that sine 90 plus a is equal to cosine a. In our case, we can write cosine 20 instead of sine 110. Also, remember that sine 2a is equal to 2 times sine a times cosine a. Let's use it to expand sine 40 term. Now we have this equation. From here, we can simplify by dividing both sides with 2 times cosine 20 sine 20 term. And that will give us cosine 20 plus alpha equals sine alpha. Instead of sine alpha, we can write cosine 90 minus alpha. From here, 20 plus alpha will be equal to 90 minus alpha. So finally, we can find alpha as 35 degrees. And that is our answer. I'll see you next time.